In this video, we're going to look at the session cache scope for dashboards. Session scope is used for storing variables, uh, variable values inside the user's session. So each user will have an individual value for that session. This can be useful when the user is working with forms or like editing things on the page, setting options and that kind of thing. Um, and you want it to be specific to that user. The cache scope is actually uh, shared amongst all users, and this can be helpful when you are caching data that you may be looking up for all users that is not unique to that user. So I've created two example dashboards here. I have DB1 and DB2. Um, both dashboards have the same code, and um, the first dashboard here, you can look and see that we have two buttons, and we have a, um, a session button and a cache button. Um, the session button, calls get random and stores it in my session variable. So that is going to be specific to the user. Uh, and then the cache is um, storing the get random value in the cache scope of my cache variable. Then we have two alerts um, that are going to display the session and the cache. So if you actually look at our variables, um, you can see that I actually have a cache variable already set, but I don't have a session variable set. And this is on dashboard one. If I click session now and reload the page, you can see I have a session variable. If I were to click it again, that's going to change to a new uh, random value. If I click the cache button, that will change the cache value for um, this particular dashboard. If I actually click a new in private window and I navigate to this dashboard with a different user, what you're going to see is that the session is no longer um, populated because this user uh, doesn't have the same you know, session. And the cache value is populated because that's global for all users accessing this dashboard. So let's actually close this. And if we go to um, my other dashboard, we'll click view here. You see that the, the cache scope is actually different. So the cache scope is not shared uh, between dashboards unless they are using the integrated environment. So in this case, uh, the cache scope is you know 196. This one starts with 193, and the session is also not uh, stored between the two dashboards. So if I were to actually update the session variable in this dashboard, you can see that now this session variable starts with 182, and this session variable starts with 173. And if I reload this, it's still 173. Now. If you look at the two dashboards I have here, one dashboard is configured to be in the integrated environment, and one dashboard is uh, configured to be in the PowerShell 7 environment. So the like little small difference there is if I were to actually restart the dashboard um, in the 7.2 environment, what you're going to see, what happens there, if I restart this, you can see both values are now gone. That's because that PowerShell 7 um, process actually stopped and started again. So that cleared the session, it cleared the cache, um, so no nothing's cached anymore. If I do the same thing for the um, integrated environment, what you're going to see there is that the session was cleared because we clear out all the sessions when it restarts, but the cache was not cleared because that's actually stored inside um, the PowerShell Universal server. And um, if you had multiple dashboards using the integrated environment, they actually share the same cache scope. So you could actually share values across dashboards. So um, like I said before, session uh, state is good for storing user specific information in variables. These variables are actually live variables. We don't serialize them in any way. They're actually just stored inside memory. Um, and the cache scope is good for variables that um, kind of go across all user sessions accessing a dashboard. And same with the session state, uh, it is just a live variable that we store in memory. So be aware of that when you're using the session and cache state that um, if you're storing large amounts of data, any data that you're storing in the cache, you either need to be aware that that is there because it's not going to be cleared up automatically, or um, you need to um, clear it when you're done using it. So in this video, we looked at the session and cache scope for a universal dashboard.